Welcome to another edition of RGB Stars Live with Alex Arabia and Isaac Medina. Remember that RGB Stars is the premier platform for showcasing real Grand Valley talent and the RGB celebrities place to be. And today we are honored to have uh, a very well-known face in Star County and in all of the Valley, Star County Judge Eloy Vera. Thank you, Alex. We really appreciate your presence here in our show and today our viewers will get to know a little bit more about your career and why you decided to do this. Uh, some of your accomplishments, your future goals, and anything else you want to share. Okay. Sounds good? Awesome. Judge, well, welcome to RGV Stars. So tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do, degrees, family. Well, first of all, thank you all for having me. You know, it's, it's really an honor for me to be here with you all. Uh, I'm from Stark County. Born, raised, and planned to die in Star County. Okay. Uh, greetings to everybody from Star County. Yeah, Watch greetings. greetings. <laughs> uh, yes, I was born in, in Roma, and now I live right between Roma and Rio Grande. Uh, and I've lived there most of my life, uh, with the exception of when I went off, off to college and the military. And then once I graduated, I started working on the uh, Texas-Oklahoma border for, for a while, and then I moved to San Angelo in Texas and, and then eventually back to the valley and back to, to Stark County. Uh, so that's pretty much been where where I've been. Awesome. And how many years have you served as a judge uh, in Stark County? Uh, I've been a county judge in December, got willing, I'll be 23 years. 23 years, wow. Wow. that's what a big a accomplishment. So what got you interested in your career as okay. a judge? Really my career is engineering, I'm an engineer by trade. All right, we got two engineers in the house. <laughs> Uh, and, and I worked as an engineer for 20, 26 years, 13 with TxDOT and 13 I had my own engineering firm in Stark County. Uh, and then, I don't know what got into me, uh, I was in the school board in Roma when Alex was there. Yes. <laughs> and by the way, he was our valedictorian. Yes. <laughs> We're real proud of, of Alex. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know what got into me and uh, I decided I wanted to do public service. So. Uh, like you really enjoyed giving back and, and serving yeah, the community. Yeah, you know, we. I, I felt I could contribute to the community, so I, I decided to go ahead and run. And and thank God, you know, uh, I, I won. I was successful, and I've been there for 23 years. Awesome! Congratulations, so, and thank you for everything you do in Star County. You're always present in all of the events, uh, giving back and making a difference. So we really appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. So how important has your family been in, um, you know, you've been in this so long, okay. but when you first started, you into the, you mentioned the military and then as an engineer and now a public servant. The, the family in, in, in our culture, as we all know, is very, very strong. And, and I hope that that continues. I think a lot of the problems that we have nowadays in, in, in the world and certainly in our country is because the family values are not what they used to be. Uh, I think we need to get back to that, to family values. Uh, my parents were not high school graduates, but they they believe deeply in, in education. And and I, I thank them and thank God forever because of that, because uh, our family, I had two sisters and myself. Uh, one of my sisters was the principal in, in the Roma, I mean, in the Rio Grande City Consolidated Independent School District. My other sister is a pharmacist in Roma, and of course I became an engineer. And she uh, was also a valedictorian, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> she was also a valedictorian. Dr. Lujano. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, you know, family for me has been, uh, I mean, essential. Uh, without the family support, uh, I mean, I don't think any, any one of us could accomplish very much. And now during all these years of public service, uh, your wife and your children, right, they're always there with you, supporting you that, as well. That is true. You know, being in politics is, is not easy at times. And, and my family, my, my wife, my kids, my grandkids, uh, I mean, they're always there to support me and lift me up when, when I'm down. Uh, you know, so, yeah, family is extremely important to me. And, and, uh, and I thank God for the family that I have. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about role models, people that you admire or look up to. Okay, gr growing up, of course, uh, you know, th there's a lot of people in Stark County that are to be admired, you know, because of, of where we've come from. And, and I think that relates to most of the valley, most of the border, really. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of people that, that I certainly would like to thank, mainly my teachers. Uh, 
you know, teachers are, are so important in our community. You know, I, when I was on the school board, I remember telling teachers, uh, you know, as people that know me know I'm forgetful. Uh, yet, to this day, I can name every teacher I had from kindergarten to high school. Wow. For senior. So that's how, how important teachers are in the lives of children growing up. So I think teachers were, were a big uh, reason as to, you know, why I chose what I did. And then, of course, my parents, you know, my, my mother and dad, uh, they, they instill the work ethics. Uh, as, as we know, politicians or elected officials, uh, a lot of them don't go to work. They go to work only when they have to. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to say that I'm in my office every day from 9 to 5. Uh, I, I, I don't get in until 9, but I'm there till 5. And, and that's because of the work ethics that my parents instilled. So uh, I, I think the people I look most up to are my teachers and my parents. Excellent, wow. excellent. And uh, what have been some of your biggest uh, professional accomplishments so far? And, and your amazing career, and also uh, maybe some of the obstacles you have faced, and okay. how do you overcome those obstacles? You know, <laughs> it's hard to say which has been the, the, the best accomplishments. Uh, we've had several uh, in, in, in my lifetime, uh, but I think getting the county to where, it, where it's right now, uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, when I started as a county judge, our unemployment was at 33%. We were able to get that down to single digit. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, it, it went back up to, to double digits. But uh, I, I think once we get some developments that we are working on in Star County, we'll be back down to single digits. You know, I hope to God. The biggest obstacle, Alex, I think is the same obstacles we all had, you know, growing up, uh, maybe with not the, um, the money that other kids had in, in other parts of the state or the country but but then again that obstacle a lot of times gives you the drive to to succeed you know you want to be like them you want to you know have a life like they do uh, so even though it's an obstacle it, it's also a, a plus awesome and, and how, how do you deal with like negativity or maybe people like the opposition, like you, sometimes it's impossible to have everybody happy, even if you try your best. You know, how, how do you deal Alex, with Alex, that? that's, that's a very good question. You know, when, when I started uh, in, in politics, uh, you know, I'd, I'd go to a dance and everyone would say hi. You know, you you shake hands with everyone. As you, as you start getting into politics, you start making, there's a saying in politics that you make false friends and true enemies. And that is very true. Uh, and that was very hard for me to accept, that there were people out there that, that wouldn't accept me or didn't like me. But, you know, uh, I had to, to convince myself that as long as every decision that I make is with a clean heart and no malicious intent, yeah. you know, I'm human and I make mistakes. But, I, you know, the decisions that I make is because I feel at that moment that that is the best thing to do for the county and the people yeah. of Star County. So and it all yeah. goes back to like having values, right? And, yes. and all yeah, that. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Awesome. And where do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? Future goals that you mm -hmm. have. Okay. In the next five years, I see myself retired. All right. Retired. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I am going to run again, but this will be my last one. Uh, what, so what's the year for the, uh, the term? It's, it's a four-year term. I still have one left. Okay. So that puts me at the end of five years. Okay. Uh, what, what do I plan to be doing that? Enjoying time with my grandkids and travel. I, I, my wife and I love to travel. So uh, hopefully we're still in good shape where we can do that. Is there something that you want to accomplish before those five yes, years are this up? last term. Yes. Uh, and, and that's really the main reason that I decided to run again. The courthouse in Star County is in, in dire need of refurbishing. And, and I've been trying to do that for the last six years, and I, we haven't been able to get the funding. However, this year, thanks to Congressman Henry Cuella, we've been able to get some funding, and, and I, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to. In fact, we already have a, a, a financial plan. We have plans for the courthouse. We have an architect. We have So I hope to get the courthouse restored you know, back to, I won't say back to when it got built, but 
uh, the the, the uh, I guess to get it as close as we can to his historical uh, value that it, that it had. Awesome. That, that's great and exciting news. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. Is there a closing message that you would like to send to yes. our viewers? Yes. Uh, first of remark? all, you know, uh, I want to say hi to the people of Stark County and, and thank you all for all your help that, that you have been uh, with the COVID situation. As you know, Stark County has some of the best numbers. Uh, certainly in the Valley and, and in the state of Texas and maybe even the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're real proud of that, but a lot of that thanks goes to the people of Star County and the community coming together, SDC, the schools, the cities, the hospital, the medical community. I mean, everyone has been just wonderful and, and you know, I cannot thank you enough for that. The other thing that I do want to say is that uh, Alex Arabia uh, is a professor at SDC in Stark County and we are extremely proud of him. Uh, he has a club called the uh, Psychology Club. The, the, uh, Psychology uh, uh, Club and, and that club, thanks to Alex, is extremely active in our community, extremely helpful. Anytime we have any fundraisers, any programs, anything, the, the, that club is always there. So Alex, thank you so much thank for you all so you much. do. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we really appreciate your presence and I'm sure the viewers got inspired. Uh, we wish you the best in your future. Thank you so much. Uh, in your retirement in a few years yeah. and everything else. Uh, many blessings, more success, thank and you. Uh, thank, you. thank you for being here. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you all for the invite. And this was another edition of RGB Stars Live with Alex Arabia and Isaac Medina. The RGB's premier platform for showcasing Real Grand Valley talent. And the RGB celebrities place to be. Until next time. Thank you. There we go.